Um, Scott Perry, thank you for a five dollar super chat. Um, a new three inch build flies away at half throttle. Default Betaflight four five two new flight controller mm, gyro works. Suggestions: um, the Betaflight default PIDs should not have a flyaway at at, at half throttle. Um, they may not be like perfect for a three inch, but it should at least fly. So to me, this points to a mechanical problem, like something is touching the flight controller, the mounting of the flight controller is, is loose. Um, your 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 capacitor broke off. Like I, I would thoroughly inspect the build of the quadcopter. Uh, a, a wire is too close. One of your ESC wires, uh, the the wire is. I don't know if it's an all-in-one flight controller, but if it's a separate ESC and flight controller, the wire going between them is running like next to something electrical that's next to a motor wire. Like this is the kind of thing I don't think you should try try to solve this with filters and pids. You could solve this with filters and pits. I've had quadcopters where I build I build a brand new quadcopter. I go to fly it and it's effed up. And it shouldn't be effed up. Like the beta it's a five inch quadcopter. The beta flight D it's 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 like a good set of motors, it's a good ESC, it's a good flight controller. It should be fine. It's not like I built some whacked out 15 inch Cine lifter, put beta flight on it, and then was like, oh, I wonder why it doesn't fly good. And it's like, well, Betaflight isn't designed for a 15-inch Cine lifter. you got to do some PID tuning and so forth. So it should fly right. It's not flying right. The answer there, it has to be something mechanical or electrical. I did something wrong when I built the quadcopter and it's effing things up. But then I'm like, I ain't got time for that. And I just jack with the PIDs and I jack with the filters. So like, if you were to take the filter master slider... And you take the gyro filter slider, rather, the filter, the gyro filter slider, and you knock it down to 80%, that might fix this. Your quadcopter will fly worse as a result. That shouldn't be your solution. But sometimes, inst sometimes like, you know, you just got to get it in the air, right? Sometimes you have an injury, and instead of going and resting and letting the injury heal up, you slap a freaking bandage on it and you keep, you kind of keep doing your thing because you got shit to do. Okay, so you could solve this with pit tuning and filter tuning, but I don't think you should have to. I think it should fly okay on the default pids, and the fact that it flies away, that points to a mechanical or electrical issue with the build. Now, what is it? I don't know. You just have to like look at it and go, hmm. What if I move this wire? Oh, that didn't fix it. Okay, hmm. What if I, like, the, ah, the capacitor. The capacitor wires are too long. What if I shortened up the capacitor wires and move the capacitor over here? Go fly it. Nope, that didn't fix it. You just have to, eventually you're like, what if I just threw the flight controller in the trash and hit it with a hammer, bought a new flight controller and threw it in the trash, threw the whole quadcopter in the trash, and never did FPV again? What if I did that? Would that fix it? Yeah. <laughs>